Dogon State Police Command has arrested a pastor of Holy Gathering Christian Evangelical Church of God, Tobilaba Ekmaisi, for allegedly killing his secret lover, Raliyat Adebola, for ritual purposes in a Wekoro local government area of the state. As suspects, the police revealed beheaded the victim and severed the two hands with one other accomplice for ritual purposes. Our correspondent, Mark Ladesoya's report is packaged from our studios. Residents of Elebute Wasime community, a Wekoro area of the state, on Tuesday trooped out a mass when the commission of police Ahmed Liasu led journalists to the uncompleted church located in the inner part of the settlement where the heinous crime was committed. Parading the suspect at the crime scene, Commissioner of Police Ahmed Liasu said the command was able to arrest the suspect and his accomplice, Daniel Shokaju, after it received the reports of the missing person at the divisional headquarters in Iwekoro. This is the height of wickedness that, that can be meted out to fellow human beings. It will interest you to know that the victim was a secret lover to the pastor who eventually hacked her to death. It has been the resolve of this command, that is this police command, to ensure that perpetrators of this type of heinous crime will never go unpunished. And we have been consistent in doing that. Forensic investigation into the case has commenced, and the case will eventually be charged to court. Speaking to journalists, Toby Lobby Piercing, a clergy who doubles as an accounting commerce teacher, revealed that he was forced by a court group. He said the victim was killed in the process of his initiation as a member of the court group. So it was on Wednesday evening around 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. that I saw them and Mr. Shukweju removed the knife with him and cut off the woman's head. And before he cut off the woman's head, he put the blood of the woman in the seven calabashes the seven people were holding. And I was asking him that, you did not tell me that you are going to kill this woman. No? He said that that is the, uh, the way they are going to do it, that they cannot tell me everything that they are going to do at that very place. Later, after he has already collected the blood, he removed the woman's head completely and the ants. At that time, I was shaking and I could not hold it anymore. A resident of Iwekoro who spoke urged the government to ensure that justice was given to the family of the late Raliats. I hereby appeal to good people of Ogun State to always be watchful of those they associate with and always disclose their movements to at least one person close to them, no matter how confidential the movement is, in order to prevent occurrence of this type of dastardly act. Visibly angry residents ensured that the church was raised down as well as his abode.